Hello there folks, this is your host and friend Normandy Junction, welcoming you back for another episode of Building the Olympic slash Titanic. I hope you all had a great Easter, if you celebrate it of course. I had a fully good one myself, enjoyed it with the family, had some Easter eggs, uh, had a bit too much, <laughs> but had some great time off work and now I'm back to it as well. So I did have some time actually trying out Java Minecraft as well, I've never played it before. And I actually did uh, some more work on my USS Enterprise, being a Star Trek fan. And I got a uh, mod pack as well for it. And I was working on the original Enterprise from the 1960s show. If you watch it, of course. Uh, but now we're back to work. And today on the Olympic, I'm going to be doing the portholes and windows for the A deck, the promenade deck, B deck and C deck. Now, the good thing is, folks, if you're doing the Titanic as well, C deck, the portholes are exactly the same. But B deck and the promenade deck are obviously different, of course. Now, I am going to show you. OK, so please bear in mind, I will show you. But I'll have to wait for another video because I just want to get this one done for you. So we're going to give this ship, this Olympic class ship, some feature on the superstructure, which we need to do. OK, so I'd like to say as well, first of all, well, second of all, now I just want to thank all my new subscribers for joining my channel. It's a big welcome to have you on board and I hope you enjoy building this ship as much as I have. But like I say, I do do this in my spare time and I try to get the video out as much as I can but like I say I just needed a bit of a break off at of Easter and now I'm ready to go again so let's get going so we're going to start on C deck which you need to come over here and in case you want all these uh, colors out which I've done I will explain it as I go along but first of all we're going to do three portholes first now when you see a blue line the porthole is three blocks across and three blocks up so it's nine blocks in total three you three so if you head for this corner here okay not this, not the front on the corner. And I hope you and I'm going off this because I hopefully have done both sides by now. <laughs> uh, by the speed I've done videos, hopefully you should have. But like I say, if you count from here, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it'll be on the tenth block. And it'll be two blocks up from the black line, the terracotta. But if you're doing the Titanic, you'll be doing the yellow lines there. It's just above the uh, superstructure. So it'll just be two blocks up from the yellow line. Okay, but obviously this is the Olympic and the yellow, yellow line was a little lower, which I've done there for you. So two blocks up, remove the uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, and just remove the blocks as we speak and remove the inner wall as well, which I'm remaining on grey. So what you need now is quartz stairs, put one block here, one block there, and on four corners, and that's your first pot hole there. Okay, so as you come inside here, it should look like this. Now on the inside one, I'm just going to put, you can put anything you like, any colour. Normally maybe a yellow, because that's how the porthole looks. But I'm just going to put smooth quartz here. And obviously with your smooth stone there, I mean, you could just like replace it with a grey one. Okay. Or any colour you like. But like I can say, I'm leaving this pretty much blank here at the minute to help the build. Okay, so and then you go about five blocks, to the, starting from this right hand corner, go about five blocks to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and we're on the next one. So remove three. There you go. So once again, quarter stairs, quarter stairs, quarter stairs, quarter stairs. Okay, and on the inside, I'm just putting the smooth. And replace the inside one like that. There you go. Okay, so there's actually a gap of five blocks there. So just get another emphasis. The grey line which we've done there, two from there and two from the terracotta. So you bang on in the middle. And if you want to get another reference, you are, we're actually in the middle of the frames here. So once again, we go about five blocks to the right. Remove the three. Remove those three there. And so forth and so forth. There you go. Okay, and do the insides as well. Okay, now we'll be speeding things up in parts of this video because obviously I think you'll get a bit bored for me doing portholes all the time. So coming along now, we need to go another five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Now, this is, these are the bigger portholes, okay, because these are actually a smaller size as you can see from the Titanic there. So what you need to do is go from one from the bottom. So remove these three and go up by four. So it's four B three or three B four. Uh, okay. So you're going one, two, three. So I remove the insides as well. There you go. So it should look like that. And then, oh, sorry, one, one there. Quartz stairs in the corners. 
same as before and quartz stairs as well okay there you go now regarding to the portholes as well regarding for windows and um, what i'm going to do actually use is uh, i'm going to make it a little bit more colorful a light blue stained glass panel let's put it in there for you now i put it on the inside so it's one two three and obviously we've got to get dip bob on the middle I mean, obviously with this mod pack, this skin pack I've got, it does make the window panels look a bit ugly. But like I say, that's how I wanted to do it. So that's how the portal looks on the inside. It's the best I can come up with, really. Uh, or we could just, if you want to remove it all, it's entirely your choice. We could just get the blocks. So if I get a light blue one, it could be any colour you want, guys. You don't have to follow me. go so that's the porthole there so that's how it looks. Yeah, but I mean, it looks a bit better i mean we got it towards what we've got so i say carry on i mean if you stick to the bottom line here go five across again so that's one two three four five move these three and go up by four so that's one two three four there we go all cleared out again Okay, so once again, get your quartz stairs, quartz stairs, quartz stairs, quartz stairs. Okay, and that's how it is. And get your smooth stairs. There we go. And obviously on the inside, which I forgot to do on that one, just get your grey con and that one as well. Like I said, I've had some time off. I've forgotten everything. There you go. I just remove the remove the smooth stone that we use for the frames. It's just to make the portholes look a bit more even. There you go. Right, so we have a lot to do here. So I've done the first two of the three by three whip and four height portholes. Now that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I need you to do nineteen more. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Because the pattern's breaking now, you see. So that's 19 portholes in total, guys. In fact, for reference, let's find the frame number. If I can find it. I mean, it's just below the grand staircase as well. I can't remember what frame number it is. So this probably needs to start marking the frames down a bit more, which I've got to do. Let's see if I can find it up on here for you. Well, we're just below the gymnasium as well. And the grand staircase. So it's these two frames here. So we'll go up to 41, 42, 43. So this frame here is 43. So let me just follow it back down. To 43. Yes, yeah, frame 43. So that's that one there is frame 43. And that's 44. Okay, so if you do that now, guys just to stay up with me. I will do it now, but I'm going to fast track the video. So, back in a moment. Right, there we go, folks. So let's just count them all up now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There you go, nineteen portholes. Like I say, I haven't done the glass section for now. Like I say, it's a bit irrelevant at the minute, so just to speed the video along. But like I say, that's your first lot of portholes, and they're exactly the same as the Titanic. So like I say, if you are building the Titanic, if you're using this portal design, it's exactly the same as the sister ship. So it's okay to use this on the Olympic and even the, Brit the Britannic as well. Okay, so we're moving on to the next stage. So after that 19th one, 
You just need to leave a gap of one this time and just do remove the three and go up by four again. So we'll just separate by one frame this time. There you go. Oh, using the wrong quartz again. There we go. And just do the inside as well. There we go. Done, done, and done. Right, so moving on to the next one. Right, the next this time it's a little bit more of a it's still the five gap as well. So it's one. So we're going from the stairs there. So go five to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So I'll just move that one there. So it's another four up and three across. There you go. I'll just move the brown, uh, inside grey. Like I say, if you've got any more questions about the build, you know, leave a leave a comment comment in the section below. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Like I said, this, the support you're all giving me is fantastic. Okay, once again, after completing that portal, I'll go another five to the right. So we come up to here again. Same routine again. Three across, four up. Three in width, four in height. Okay, so like I say, we're just making our way across for looking there. Yeah, this is all going to be first class cabins. Uh, just up there, as you can see in the corner, is the staircase. Okay, so we're going five across again. So it's the next three remove. For what I'll do, I'll just stop doing the portals for a second. I'll stop doing the corners. I'll just work my way across, okay, guys? But this time, it's going to be 11. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, I do apologize. So that one's the frame. That. And then it's a three. That's a frame. That's a three. And that's a frame. So I'll put it like that. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you move the next three. So there you go. It's a total of nine. So once again, it's three across and four up. Okay. And then it's the same again. There's going to be a bit of a gap. So one, two, three three four five six seven eight nine so it's nine blocks width so it's on the tenth block move the next three there you go and then a gap of one there you go and then then it's back to a normal gap of five so it's one two three four five Move those three and go up by four. Okay, so the portholes are going to change now. So I'll just speed up the video while I just finish these portholes off. There you go, folks. I'm back now. Right, so after this porthole is now complete, you need to go another five to the right. That's one, two, three three four five and on the six blocks you just need to remove three and we go up by three so it's a three by three block again but this time rather than have a gap of two at the from the terracotta it's only a gap of one so all the portholes now are going to be level it was just the first three that was a little higher okay so once again these stairs gap of one remove three there you go Okay, now the next frame, I say that's the second funnel now from. So it's a gap of five again, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And we're back to the three by four. Three width, four height. There you go. So I'll just put their portholes there. So we've gone back to a bigger porthole. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, so the next five. We need to do another three portholes like this, and it's a gap of five, so that's... So I'll speed it along here, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So remove those three. There you go. And then a gap of five, and move those three. There you go. And then another gap of five. So that's three, four, five, two, three. There you 
go. There you go. So in total, we've done about four port holes there. Okay, so I'll just leave them square for now. So it's a gap of one, and it's the three by three again. Okay, and then another gap of one. Okay, and the next stage is we're going back to the routine of at least six, uh, three widths and four heights. So it's a gap of five. So going from that one there, so I'll just uh, pull that in for reference. Okay, so a gap of five again, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So move those three. And it's four height. There you go. So like I say, if you want to slow this video down, guys, because obviously I don't want to lose track or anything like that. So after that one, it is on to at least another five more of four height and three width. There you go. And a gap of five again. So I do apologize if this is going to take a while, guys, but say so we need to get this right. Okay, but like I say, there are some cases. I am going to speed up the video. Okay, another one. So a gap of five again. Two, three, four. Okay, and then another gap. One, two, three, four, five. One more gap, gap of five. One, two, three, and four height. Like I say, if you want to work on the inside on this, but the frames are a great reference section. Uh, okay, so that is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six frame, six portholes of three width and four height. Okay, so like I say, I'll just. Uh, some port all there you go so we're on to the next bit now and i think we're about halfway through the ship now let's double check yep if you see that light white line there we're in the middle of the ship now so i think i do have the frame numbers here do i have the frame numbers and by the way guys yes i have been doing the other side of the ship as well <laughs> over easter break right okay so yes we're about halfway across the ship now Right, so going another five to the right, we're back to the freebie threes. There you go. And then gap of one and move the next three. Okay, and then there's a single gap. So after those two, a single gap, we're back to three width, four height. There you go. Okay, so that's one. So you need to do another one, two, three, four, five. So it's a six in total. So what I'll do is it's a gap of five each time. So there's one there. Okay, gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. Then another three. say I'm trying to explain this the best I can for you guys so and then another gap of five so let's remove the next three but this uh, portal design is exactly the same on Titanic and Britannic and also on the other side as well so there's no difference in the portholes okay so we're going five across here Ooh. taking out one there by mistake Okay, and then another five gap, and remove these three as well. You can say these are all third class, uh, not sorry, not third class, first class cabins on C deck. Okay, so that's as I say, going back to those two there, we've now done one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so a gap of one again, we're back to the three B3s. There you go, there's one. 
So I'll just put that in for reference. So, oh, hang on. One, two, three, and move that four. Okay, and then I say one single block, and it's three B three to remove. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, right now a gap of five again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and once again it's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Now, there is a grey block there, and now there is a reason why that is there, so I will show you that, guys, in a minute. Okay, so, let's get back to work. So, I'll move those three blocks and four height. That's one. Gap of five again. Three. In case you're wondering, it's always a gap of five in between each frame. It's like, because you count the frame, one, two, three, and count the frame. So I know gap five, so I move those three and up by four height. Oh, you fell down there. So I think this video might be an hour long, guys, so I do apologize. So I say I've been trying really hard to keep my videos short, but with Bill and this big ship, it's not possible. <laughs> right, okay, so gap of five again, so one, two, three. Move four high again. Okay, now leave the grey leave a grey block just there. Because what that is, that's actually the flexible uh, flexi line of the ship. Because the actual ships and long ships are the actual flex, because if they stayed in one whole length as it rises the waves, it would crack under stress. So they build uh, flexi lines, you know, flexi frames. So I'll leave a single grey block there, but it's still a gap of five. And remove the three there. So like I say, one grey block, but then four quartz blocks along. Okay, there we go. And then one more to go, which is here. So after this one, we have now done a total of six again. Let's double check. Going for the for this one. So that's one, two, three, four five six okay moving on so this one here is the freebie three after one single frame by the way gap of one now this time it's a gap of five but it's three b three again okay and then a gap of one and you're only doing one two three four four of the four b three So a gap of five. There you go. Gap of five again. There you go, gap of five. And one more. So it's only four this time. Okay. Four of the um, three width, four heights. So I'll just put some stairs there to keep track of what the portholes look like. Because sometimes you can get a bit lost. There you go. Right, so I gap one frame again. So it's 3v3. There you go. And then a gap of five. There you go. And then gap of one. And it's three by four height again. Okay, and then doing five across. There you go. And then another five across. So it's three by four height. go five across again move those three and four height so this is where I was practicing is explaining how this out to you guys I've spot great block there and then another gap of five so once again we've got one two three four five six six across 
as but we're getting closer to the stern now guys so we're nearly there and then another gap of five five quartz blocks so in total that's going from the small 3 by 3 so that's one two three four five six at three width and four height so do a gap of one so it's 3 by 3 and then a gap of five and then so after those two little windows uh, portholes still calling windows there you go on that Okay, and then a gap of one, so we're back to the three before height. There you go, there's one. Then, then a gap of five, one, two, three, four height. There you go, and then another gap of five, one, two, three. There you go. So we've done three so far. We've got another three to do, but there is a gap of one this there. Just remember this one, guys. So there's the first one. So it's gap of five. Next one, gap of five. Next one, gap of five. And then remove these three. And then it's a gap of one. So remove those three. And it's full height again. And then a gap of five. So this is when the ship starts to curve in now. Full height. And then it's a gap of five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And it's a three B three. And I'll just draw just show the quartz block there. So I'm just make this a portal just as we speak. Okay. Now you need a gap of at least five here. This is the last porthole. You'd be happy to know. <laughs> there you go. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. And now we're going to do actually do the windows. These windows here at the uh, bottom of the on the C deck uh, towards the, coming out the aft end of the stern. So you need to go starting from this porthole here and this block. So that's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's on the fourteenth block, and it's one white block, quartz block, above the terracotta. One, two, three, and it's five high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and it's three across. So we'll just move all this. Now you need to repeat that process. Right, so we need to do the exact same size. So remember, it's three width, five height, but 14 blocks long. So once again, from this pothole, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14th block. And then it's a gap of three. So we'll do the same. Now you will come across when you do these windows, you're coming across some of the frames, but that's fine. Just remove the smooth stone and the quartz and the sea lantern. So if you come in now, so it should look like this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so another gap of three. This window should be easy to find because like I say, it's on the, on the turning curve. Okay, and then one more gap of three. So there should be four windows there in total, which there are. So going from this fourth window, start at this block here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen blocks. So the twentieth block you just remove, and it's a three again. Three by five height. And if there's any frames it's on, just remove them on there so it should be on the next one so gap of three again so remove these three there you go now this window is a little tricky because it's on the curve but like i say just as long as you remove these three blocks as you're looking at it, it's five height you're fine
Okay, there you go. And then another gap of three. So five height, three width. Okay, and then another gap of three. Five height, three width. So another gap of three. So we go again. There you go. And another gap of three. So five height and three width. So it's going inwards into this curve. And it's on a frame. But as I can say, you just go three across five height. And you move every block on the inside. There you go. And then another gap of three. One, two, three. And five height. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. And then another gap of three. One, two, three. And this is the last one, guys. Last window. We're nearly there. Whew. And we are. Let's move all of these on the inside done yes we are done so if you judge it from that frame there it's just a gap of three left uh, so let's zoom out a little bit we are done so what i'm going to do now i'm going to make do a little quick little bit of a jump cut i'm going to finish these portholes off and then we'll be going on to b deck okay i'm back so i've just finished all the portholes now so she's looking really good so now we're going to add some more detail by doing some rivets by the use of just a normal button. Uh, yeah, that's how you do the rivets. I've been doing the rivets on this ship. <laughs> just buttons, really. I've been looking at very lots of pictures, trying to get all this right. My favourite picture of the Olympic is when it came into New York Harbour when she finished on a maiden voyage. And I was staring out those windows and poles, make sure I was getting this right. Right, so come back to the front of the ship come back right over here now at the bottom we'll start here I'll put a button there to begin with now as I can say if you're doing the Titanic the yellow line is there okay so what I'll do I'll leave that there for a reference what you need to do is put a row of buttons on the quartz and the terracotta the black terracotta all I mean by row is literally a whole row of buttons literally like this go straight across and this one, the video is going to get a bit more boring. Because this is all it is. You just get a row of buttons, go straight across. There you go. So the bottom two lines are going to be covered in buttons. Literally, the whole ship's going to be covered in it. Okay. And it's the same for this. Obviously, we can't do that bit there because obviously that button is taking that block. So here we go. So this is when uh, you probably might want to speed up the video. Go right across with all the buttons. Uh, in case you miss any, which I normally do miss one. My eyesight is starting to get a bit more blurry every time I do one of these videos. <laughs> yep, so I've, I've laid down the buttons here. Yeah, as we continue our way along the whole long section of the ship, covering all this complete row in the buttons as we go along I'm trying to make it sound interesting guys <laughs> uh, the ship of this length I tell you must have been mad Oops, uh, get rid of that one get rid of that one put a few more mistakes on there there we go Ah, continue our way along, 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 trying to keep it all straight. You literally need to go all the way the length of the ship. Where we're up to, up to the third funnel. There we go. Okay. Okay, so... There just needs to get to the end. We're up to this third class area. Come up to the poop deck. There we go. There we go. Last few buttons to go. There we go. 
well. So we can end it there. In fact, actually, what we'll do as well, as he used to say, you need to put light, some buttons on the terracotta. So we can leave it up to there. And as well, so you need to repeat the process going all the way back. But what I need to do is come back the other way and put them on the terracotta, which we'll do now. do guys I'll just do a quick swipe and there we go right so we're doing two whole rows of buttons there but it's not ended so what we need to do now is come back towards the bow okay which we are doing here and you need to go we'll start from here for reference so we're going to need to go up by four so that's one two three four and put another row going up by four one two three four and I'm just checking here on the Titanic, make sure it's right. Yes, it is. And then you need to leave a gap of three. Put, uh, put another row of four buttons, a gap of three. So a gap of two, actually. And it goes on to there. And then it's a gap of three. Basically, we're going on all the frames now. So that gap of two is absolutely fine. There's a gap of three there. And what you need to do well is, folks, is put another two rows of buttons here. And what I mean by that is drag it along. There we go. And another row there. Okay, so it should look like that. So what we need to do now, folks, we need to go every three blocks, you need to do a row of buttons like this. So basically, we're putting the buttons on the frames to give it the rivet look. Might be a bit tedious, but this is what we've got to do. So every three blocks on every frame, on the inside frame, on the outside, we put a row of buttons. There we go. So that's one there, there, and there, and there, and there. And obviously as well, we need to do the two rows at the top. So I will continue to do the rows because obviously the shape is different at the end. So I'll come along now. I'll just do a quick swipe. Right, folks, after so many buttons, we're just coming to the end. So it should be up to the last porthole and the stern. And it should look like this as well. Okay. Like I said, we're not finished yet, so we're coming up to these windows here. So when you come up to this section, when you go up to the last porthole, just continue across that, do a three, go right up there. A gap of three, go right up there gap of three go right up there but with the buttons just continue with the top frame top line so the second line ends at the last porthole so continue across all the way some gaps there we go there and there but we'll just remove that one there's actually just go up to the last window and make your way upwards so on each window frame just do a line of buttons going upwards not on the inside on the outside like this but leave a gap of one in between each one so we're just going on the outside of the frame of each one of these big windows you don't have to do it if you don't want to but I think it looks good for effect Because the shit was held by millions and millions of rivets, iron rivets. They had to hammer in manually on the curves, but on the main strength parts, they used machines. Quite a revolution invention, actually, at the time. But no wonder the ship took two years to build. Nowadays, they just put it together like a Lego kit. There we go. So that's those rear windows now. And that is C deck complete, folks. Okay, but like I say, for these windows here, I don't think there were actually windows in this section of the ship. I need to look you looking at, so I'm going to leave it blank for now. But as of now, C deck is now complete. Oh, we have missed some windows here. I've missed them. I do apologize for that. I'll just get these filled in now. Now we're going to move up to B deck. Let's get this done. 
two more lines going upwards to go. Sorry, three more lines, should I say? Right, done. Okay, so it should look like this. So that's C deck now complete. So she, yes, she is starting to take shape. But uh, like I say, this is on the port side and the starboard side is exactly the same process. So if you want to replay this video a few times, would help the view count. Or if you're following me when you're building it, you can either do the other side at the same time. <laughs> right, okay, so famous last words here. This next section should be quite easy. So he says. Right, so going to B deck, we're gonna go straight to the front. Now, we did do the arch on a previous video, this curve here, but we do need to extend it. Okay, so what I mean by that is that there should be a gap of four there. There should be two wood planks and then a steps and then a block. Remove these two and the frame behind it. Now I marked it down here, so after you remove those two, you need to remove another four. So that's what I mean by that. So that's one, two, three, four. Move the one above and above to the right, top right, northwest again, and northwest again, and go up by one. Okay, so remove all those frames. Oop, put them back. There we go. So just remove this. And uh, basically those ones I've just taken out, you can remove all this section here. I just realized I've messed up as well. <laughs> Let me get my reference back. Okay, so yeah, it's just there. So two blocks and a stairs. Two blocks. And a stair. So that should leave at least a gap of five before the uh, structure starts. Now I'm just getting bearings on here. One, two, yep. One, two, three, four, five. So it's on the fifth block. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think I have gone wrong here. Guys. One, two, three, four. Ah, is that one? Five. Uh, I'm not convinced. That's six. Alright, apologies for this, guys. Let me just get my bearings again. So it's one, two, three, four, five. There's a four there. I'm looking at the wood slabs. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Uh, I knew it'd be too good to be true. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Okay, and then... Yeah, it's fine now, so I just need to put the stairs on. So, <laughs> I'll start again. When you're extending it, it's basically one, two, three, four, then the stairs, and then one, two blocks, and on the third one, you just put three lots of stairs, and it finishes at the... the t you know, I'm not having a good night. <laughs> Okay, so it's one, two, three, and then a block up, and it's at the top. Okay, let me get this right. There it is, that's it. So like, once again, one, two, three, four, quarter stairs, then two blocks, stair, stair, stair up by one block and the next one up and then a stair right okay that's that done okay so using that a quarter stairs for a reference you go one across and then you remove the top three here and then you go down by five so that's one two three four five and then you just remove everything again all right so i'll say that again so where the quarter stairs is Go across to the right by one, and then you move the next three, but it's down by one, and then you go down by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and three across. So it's three width, five height. Now, 
there's a lot of these windows and to do the buttons as well you need to put five buttons on each side and two and three across from the top so it looks like this and as well you need to put a frame in it so there's three lots of jobs to do and I'm, I'm just going to put in light blue again and put it in here there we go I mean, it's not the ideal ideal um, colour, but I, thought, I just think it looks nice. So there you go. So once again, you need to do a gap of three. One, two, three. Move the inside, work your way up. And then put, this, put your panel, glass panels in, any colour you like, like I say. I'm just showing how I built it. The buttons go on the outside and the top on there. Right, so that's two windows we've done. Now, the good thing is, like I say, it's pretty much straightforward here now. So we've done two, so you need to do another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You need to do another 21, guys. Make sure you do a three blocks for a gap in between. So in total, there's 23 windows. This is for the first section. So like I say, one here, gap of three, then another one, gap of three, and then do another 21. Now I am gonna do a jump cut, guys, because like I say, I'll be back as soon as I can, once I complete this section. But remember, it's 23 windows in total take out three a height of five and like i say a gap of one from the top from this line okay so i'll be back in just a moment okay i'm back so that's after all those windows done we've made our way to the doors now this is the entrance for how the first class passengers access the ship and they actually came across the uh, grand staircase as well. So after the last window you've done, which should be about 23, let's double check them all. Count them all as we speak. So it should be completed as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yep, 23 windows and lots more to come. 23 so after the button you've done your buttons it's basically two blocks across well one block well yeah one two and on the third block if you go down to the gray line if you just remove uh 10 blocks basically one from the top but go on the gray line and the inside as well okay and then you go five across like that and remove any interior frames that you see and you just move all the inside. So like I can say from the grey line up of it is five across. There we go. That one and that one. And you just need to remove it all. So it's ten in height, five in width. And just remove everything. Because we're going to rebuild it. <laughs> okay, so what you need to do after that, so you should have a big gap like this. Get your grey concrete. But start on the inside first, so we're going to cross by 5, up by 10, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then it's 5 across. Now the gap on the inside here, get your iron bars and go upwards, because these, like, these are the gates, or you know, that shuts it across from the door, basically to stop passengers from opening the door. Because obviously they're on, they're on a ship in the middle of the ocean. So it should look like that. Okay. And what you do next is basically get your grey concrete again. Go around the outside of the frame. There you go. So it should look like that. Right. And then you need to get white concrete. Because you, you, you want the door to stand out a little bit. Rather than quartz slabs. So like I say... Uh, just get your yellow white concrete and put it on the front like this there you go and that way you have your door 
There you go. And after the door frame, just do a gap of two. And it's one, two, three. Five down. And three across again. So it's a standard window again, guys. There you go. So get your buttons. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five. Uh, before we go, we'll have a quick look on the inside. There you go. So that's how the door should look. Like I say, we put in like slabs down here for the for the frame. And so we head back outside. Get your glass panels. There we go. And that's that window done. So going for the button, another block. As I say, you just need to do the same thing again. So it's 10 in height, 5 in width. So we move all of these. And move everything that's in the centre, including the frame. There you go. Get rid of it all. Okay, so like I say, get your grey concrete, five at the bottom on the inside, and going upwards, so it's a height of 10, and a width of five again. There you go. And get your iron bars, we're doing the doorway again. Oh, excuse me, folks. I am recording late tonight tonight. And like I say, get your grey concrete or any colour you like. Just put it on the grey concrete again. And then get your white concrete and put it on across the door. Because like I say, the white concrete stands out a lot. You can see the different shades. Okay. And that's the second door done. Because there were two doors, both port and starboard. I say this is where the first class passages enter the ship. Okay, now going from this corner here, that one top right, you need to do a gap of six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then do, to remove the next three. So like I said, this is when the next window is going to start, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Three across, five down. And the normal routine here because what's gonna happen now guys after completing this one we have a lot more windows to do okay so get your buttons all the way there there you go right <coughs> so i'm just going to count now how many more windows we need to do guys so that's the first one so that's two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 39. So hear that, guys. There's 39 windows here. So we've already done one, so we need to add another 38. So I can say gap of three, then remove three, gap of three, and then remove three, and then it's got five down on each side. And that is the height of your window and the width as well but like i say there's 39 there we've already done the first one so there's 39 38 to go so i'll do a chum cut guys i'll take care of this like i say if you do the window there i will continue on in just a moment right then folks that's a lot of windows done in the middle of the ship but we are getting there towards the stern on b deck so onwards after this last window like i said i think it was 39 before uh, just go to do a temporary block there and go four to the right. So that's one, two, three, 
before and after that one put a gray block there now this line here is actually the flexi line of the ship uh, you can just put any color you want but probably best with gray concrete and just put a gray line or remove all the quartz and go as far as you can basically down to the terracotta here so if there's any buttons you have to replace them like just here and go to the top as well basically these are the flexi lines of the ship but uh, don't keep the white post, uh, keep the, you know, this bar here, keep that white. But also just put a grey block on the top there, okay? So it's basically, this is a reference point making this ship flex. It's, you know, you can see it there on the Titanic over there, just about there. Basically because the whole ship wasn't one whole structure, it was actually separating a few pieces. In fact, I think there were some theories because of the flexi line here of the ship. This is where the Titanic split in two that's where she was at weakest when her stern was in the air because so the engines just there they're just too heavy uh right okay so like i said just put down the line here i mean there's another flexi line just down there but we're going to continue with the windows i just want to get it down and over done with there so after the flexi line uh second from the top again there's this block here got two to the right now the third block here is needs to move the three again and go down by five and so it's another window in our mists here so I'll just take out that quartz box now because like I say I want to get over to the end here for you guys. So that's another window. Do another block of three. So that's a, remove those three. Here we go again. Okay. And then go three across from the top. And take out the next three. And go down by five again. So like I say it's three B five. So that's two. That's three done so far. Now you need to do another one. So that's no gap of three, and then take out the next three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so there's eleven more windows to go. So after those three, eleven, that's fourteen windows in total towards the end. <coughs> But like I say, I'll do that quickly on, on a jump cut. So I'll just do this window quickly for now, so I'm not losing track. Now the next section is the open windows on the B deck, the open promenade, which it was slightly more longer on the Olympic than it was on Titanic. Because you can see there on the Titanic, that was the I think it was the Cafe Parisien, on one of the lounges I think. And as you can see there on the left where my arrow is pointing, that's the open promenade. But on the Olympic, it was actually a lot longer. Like I say, I'm basing this design on the 1911 design. Okay, so that's why the uh, the bunkers are still full of coal, because later on in life she was converted to oil. Uh, so like I say, the open promenade deck, let me just put these buttons on to make it make a good start. There we go, so I'll leave that there for now. Fact, well, I'll, put, I'll put the panels on. There we go. Right, so I've actually done a purple line here. Basically, this is the outline here, which I want us to take out. But for your reference, top right corner, basically in between the two buttons, just go to right to there. So it's the second one on the right. Move it. And then where it is, down to uh, southeast, go down and go down by one. Down, down one on to the right, southeast again. So I'm using compass directions here. Uh, southeast again. There you go. And take out another one block on the southeast. So going down. So we're at one, down by two, down by one, down by one, down by one. And then go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, take out those five and go down by one just here. Take out two and take out three. Okay, so it's basically going along four. Well, five down by one, another two to the right, and just remove it all. Now, where the purple line is, go straight back up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then after that, just remove everything that's in the center. Everything that's the gray concrete, the smooth stone, and the inside court lines you have done. Okay, so if you need to pause this video, if you want a quick refresher, I'll just zoom out a little bit for you. blocks there you go so it should look like that ok 
a bit more in so if you want to pause the video there there that is fine just ignore that gray concrete block that is for later uh, so what we need now is our quarter stairs which I don't have there with me there we go so the quarter stairs just put one two three four and five it's five in total and one here as well there you go done and also what you need now is your slabs you need your dark oak slabs let's put that uh we'll put that put that there for now and just fill in that gap of two there okay it's going to join it up as well so you this is obviously the pillar so we go over by one so you need to remove one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's eleven across um, make your way, so let's get rid of all of them and obviously going up as well towards the top get rid of all of them as well all the way up to the purple line which I've done here for you get rid of all these, all these, all these, all these So I'll do my best, as I say, to best describe these tutorials. Like I say, I do struggle myself using the correct terminology. So it's probably just best if you just watch me do it. <laughs> probably a little quicker as well. Probably get fed up on the voice. Anyway, right, there you go. So it should look like that. So it's basically, we go on the inside. It's this frame here, and you go about two frames across, and you stop on the third one. So that's another good reference point. Right, so I uh, get your slabs and put them at the top there. Okay, right, so we need to repeat this process. That's one, two, and actually another good reference point is basically just look at the uh, space above. Like I say, this one here is also a gap of three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. And so forth, that's an 11, that's an 11, that's an 11, that's an 11, 11. But the last one, I think I have someone sent me a message about this one because they were a little confused about it. But now it's 3, 6, 7. So on this one here, it's also a 7 because it has to match. So when you come to here, basically take out the purple line here. And you need a gap of 1, 2, 3, 4 quarts from the grey line. So, and you go to the right, and then you go upwards. So that's one, two, three, six, seven. Okay, so how you look at it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're taking out seven across, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a seven by seven space. There we go, just remove all these. Up, so it should look like that and obviously get your dark oak slab and put that on there you go so like I say I hope it's quite simple for you for you guys like I say start again all right quartz pillar and then take out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we go again number space eleven and you go up by seven okay so that continues except for this one which is a seven by seven this one here, like say if you want to come on the inside, is two frames across again. So this is an 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's all gone. But the next one is 7 across again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One quartz block. And you should finish off with another 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's 7 up. There you go. So that's how we do the open promenade deck. So like I say, I won't do it all on the video now, so because I want to make the video as quickly as possible. So I'll do a jump cut now, folks, while you proceed. If you want to pause here, have a look at this picture here, just make sure it's all right and aligned. And I'll be back in just a moment. Right, folks, that's B deck now complete. So I should say that's the open promenade towards the rear of the stern. And we finished off the windows as well. Oh, that took some time doing it. Okay, so we're just going to finish off now. 
Um, I just want to replace this um, flexi line, you know, separation line with a darker grey concrete because it stands out a little bit more. Uh, just go all the way down, replace every single one, and we're going to go to the bow as well because as I, said, as I said before, there was one more. I'll replace those buttons in a minute. So go for a darker grey if you like. I mean, you don't have to, but this is what I like to do. Let's replace all those. There we go. And one at the top. Now, the other one is on frame 49 of the bow, which I've marked as well. It's just outside the officer's quarters. Give me one second. Here it is. There you go. 49. So, replace that one all the way down there you go obviously replace that button as well not going to go for the window of course it goes all the way down I say if you see any buttons just replace them which I'll do in the next part which I'll just do now there we go so it's Frame 49, guys. 49 in the bow. 49. What have I put a button there for? For an autopilot. I'd have done it on there. What have I done that for? God. This is the problem when you uh, film late at night. There you go. Done. Okay, so like I say, she's looking more like the Titanic. And once again, I've done it again. Oh, dear, oh dear. There you go. There you go. So that's the separation line there so there's just one more thing to do as i say we're coming to the end now guys the promenade deck exactly the same as the other side there's no alterations or changes or anything uh but what was it we need to oh yeah i forgot uh, so we need to fill this in one two right so you need to come around to the bow towards the center and as you can see i've built the other side there you go I'm just trying to remember whereabouts it is. We need to put one more grey line in. Yes, it's here. Okay, so it's just below the slabs, one of the slabs. You just need to replace this line with a grey line. Okay. Let's put it all on here and go straight across. It's just for all cosmetic purpose. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but like I say, for my build, I have done it. There we go all on as we speak like I say if you got any questions or at all please feel free to comment uh, like I say if you want to use it as a downloadable project or go right ahead or use it for your own YouTube videos that's absolutely fine guys but like I say I'll just leave us a little bit of a credit for you or leave a link to my channel or anything like that it's just to help my channel grow we're all in this together okay so like I say just remove the top quartz line and replace it with grey concrete. Go straight across. There you go. So it should look like that. There you go. And you do the same for as well. So remove all these quartz blocks. And replace it with the grey concrete. Uh, but also don't and go back again. Like I say, I'm sorry if this video is a bit tedious, guys. Like I say, but I want to show the detail. And give you um, some a bit of inspiration for it as well. There we go. Okay, so we'll just continue removing this quartz, and we'll end the video there for you. Like I say, I will do a tutorial on how to make it look like the Titanic because I know there's some people asking me, "Will I do the Titanic? Uh, how I do? How it looks?" Yes, but I will focus on the Olympic first. Like I say, I've done the Titanic here. And I just want to focus. Like I say, the design of the Olympic and Titanic are exactly the same. It's only a few changes, like the promenade decks that are different. Oh, also, when you do this grey concrete, like, don't go over the doors. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go for a big swoop of quartz blocks here. And I think what I might do in the next couple of videos, I'm going to finish off on the boat deck, work to work my way towards the uh, smoking room, and uh, towards the aft of the stern, and then we'll work on the funnels, and then the lifeboats. But for the lifeboats, I know for the Olympic, uh, they went straight across the whole of the deck. Uh, for me, for this is the 1911 one, so it'll be exactly the same amount that she had on the Titanic. Let's move that block there. 
Okay, so there we go. So the reason why I put that block on the outside is we're on the open promenade here. So I only go up to where the quartz is, quartz steps, sorry, and then leave it there because like I say, it lines up perfectly with the wooden slabs. So I'm just going to put all these back here in as well. Like I said, this design, the Olympic, as I say, she had a, a long career, long life, at least 20 years plus. She went for the war, she went for the glory 20s and the depression of the 30s. But like I say, my design is on 1911 when she was born. But like I say, I'll just do the old layout, like the rooms. Like I say, I'll leave you to design that for yourselves, guys. This is just a tour of actually how to build the ship. But there you go. So there we go. There we go. So what I'll do now, I'll do a little flyover. Showing what we've done today in today's video. But as you can see here, the profile of the Titanic is different and it's different on the other side. They're not exactly the same on each side. But yeah, but on the Olympic, it was exactly the same, which is why I love doing this video today. It's exactly the same. There you go. So I'll just give it another flyover. across the stern here. Yes, I spent a little time with the Easter Pier building the other side, but probably if you guys are all building this ship, you've probably already done it already. There you go. Just got to show you. This is what I've been doing on the other side. Oh, and while I'm here, I also want to give a shout out to the crazy family 225. He sent me a nice message saying, uh, asking me when the next part out on his birthday. So I hope you had a great birthday, pal. Oh, you had some nice presents, a lovely day, and that cake. Because you should always eat cake on your birthday. Well, you know, you should. <laughs> okay, so there we go. All done there for you. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video here, guys. So, you know, enjoy building it. As I say, we'll soldier on with the boat deck on the next video. And we'll work down our way to the, I think we'll do the boiler rooms first, get those rooms out done, and the bench shafts as well. They still need to be done. Lots of work to be done, but like I say, hey, it's part of the journey. But thanks again for watching and sticking around for me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.